here's an application of a potentiometer and we can think of the potentiometer as a adjustable voltage divider and you've used voltage dividers you may not realize that but joysticks is basically a two-dimensional uh, potentiometer or voltage divider one along the X direction and along and one along the Y direction and it's basically a three terminal device shown here it's a symbol or schematic of a potentiometer from here to here A and B is a total resistance of RT in the middle is known as the wiper which adjusts the resistance such that you have one for R1 right here and then RT minus R1 on the other side so between node C and B is RT minus R1 and between node A and C is just R1 and when you add these up it results in the total resistance between A and B so here is basically how a joystick operates you have a voltage supply connected at nodes A and B of this potentiometer and we have node C which adjusts it at what varies uh, VO from 0 to VS so for example if R1 is 0 then VO will just draw the voltage division rule here in terms of VS our input VO is our output and we have RT minus R1 that's the resistance this lower part which is the voltage across uh, VO and then this is just RT so when R1 is 0 that means that this wiper is at the top or at node A then the resist then the voltages is just VS so if R1 equals 0 then VO is equal to VS now if the wiper of node C is at the bottom where it's located at node B then R that's RT R1 is equal to RT so RT minus RT so VO is equal to zero so those are the extreme points now if we're in the middle where the wiper is in the middle, exactly in the middle between nodes A and B, then RT, R1 is equal to, I'm sorry, one half RT, which implies when you substitute here, VO is equal to RT minus one half RT divided by RT multiplied by VS or one half VS half of the voltage. So you, hopefully this application shows you what a potentiometer does and we can think of it as an adjustable voltage divider. It can go from zero to whatever the power supply voltage is and uh, that's how the three, this three terminal device works. It's just basically two resistors in parallel that you can adjust. Here we have an example of a programmable voltage divider here we have two switches controlling this resistor network and we'll see what the output voltage is with a voltage power supply of 15 volts we'll look at the different states of the switches D1 and D0 the state when it's 0 0 means that it's closed for D1 and open for D0 now let's look at when D1 is closed we see that 3.5 kilo ohm is in parallel with 21 kilo ohms and this 3.5 kilo ohm in parallel with 21 kilo ohm is equal to 3 kilo ohm so that parallel combination results in 3 kilo ohms now when this D0 is open we have 2K in series with 1K which is basically the voltage V0 in other words the voltage across the 2K in series with the 1K the voltage output is V0 so let's do a voltage divider so what we have is our input voltage of 15 volts 
our output voltage consists of resistors 2K and 1K over the 2K and 1K in parallel with this combination which we saw was 3K. So basically what we have is 3K divided by 3K plus 3K which is just one half or 7.5 volts of which is one half of the 15 volts. So this yields an answer of 7.5 volts for that case. Now the one in blue is when the switch is closed for D1 again and that however D0 is now closed. So when D0 is closed we bypass this 2 kilo ohm resistor because this has a smaller resistance than the 2K and this, and this acts like a short and now we have a 1 kilo ohm resistor which will be a result of that output right here. So it would be just 1K divided by, we still have this parallel combination of 3K plus the 1K times 15 volts results in an answer of 3.75 volts when we have this state for 0, 1 for switch D1 for 0 and the switch D0 for 1. Now the one in red is for the state when it's 1, 0. This time D1 is open and D0 is open. When D1 is open, we just have the 21 kilo ohm resistor no longer in parallel with the 3.5 kilo ohm. So now what we have is just a 21 kilo ohm and these two resistors again of 2K plus 1K. So what we have in this case, the VO is 15 volts times 3K divided by 3K plus 21K or 1.875 volts. Finally, we have the 1-1 one, one state which is just the opposite of the 0-0 zero, zero state so that means D1 is open and D0 is closed. D0 is closed means that we bypass the 2 kilo ohm resistor so we have 1K and D1 is open so we just have the 21K. So 1K divided by 1K plus 21K times the 15 volts yields an answer of 0 0.682 volts. And so that's how a programmable voltage divider works in which we have digital signals controlling this analog resistor network.